Blah, 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 blah. But you can't explain this, can you? My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. Nice shades. Cool cut. My shades. My cut. Jim. How are you? How was your freak end? My freak end was okay. My whole family's sick, which means I'll be sick in a week and a half. Get ready. Bam. And now. Bruce Buffer. Makes a living doing that. Vanna White, crazier living. Kansas City Royals. Season's done. They stink. They been had stink. There's a Royals baseball game. Bobby Witt Jr. Walk off Grand Slam. 102 in on his hands. Gets his hands in. Home run. Little girl crying in the stands. It's her favorite player. It's her favorite team. Family's visiting Georgia. She missed the pitch. Very cool. Very cool oh, video. Jim. Very cool. I like the hat. I like the jersey. Yes. She cried. Yes. It's nice to have passion about things. And good for Bobby Witt for hitting that home run. What else? She missed the pitch. But we're not going to harp on that. She's a new baseball fan. She could have been a fan for years. So don't speak out of turn. I'm going to try not to speak out of turn. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go Royals. Jim, what's this almost a breakdown you've been telling the people about? The Friday night Apple game had two fun lip readings. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> it was the Friday night Apple game. No one sees it. You want me to not say that? I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. <laughs> Angels Blue Jays. Yes. Otani homers in his first at bat and Matt Chapman says to his manager, why'd you pitch to him? He's the only guy on the team that can hit. Angels really tough. <laughs> saw that clip, traded for everyone. Yeah, I got a shit. He's they right. No, he's right. He's right. They're on to us. Give us all the players. We need more hitters. In that same game, our guy Phil Nevin, manager of the Angels, didn't like the last pitch of the game. You read his lips, and he just says "mf" or "mf" or mm. like motherfucking "mf". -er. Oh, that's what that is. And then he grabs the tablet and shows him from really far away. It's so funny. Right now, we are just absolutely in a tweener area where missed pitches are going to be reviewable like in the next three years like yeah. easily they're doing it in minor leagues yes but it's such a no-no between managers and umpires to show them video evidence which is ridiculous because if you miss the pitch that sucks like when jim joyce blew that call for the perfect game the entire baseball watching nation was like okay i think we can let's you know what let's do it let's put a replay in might have been the next year. How have they not? Maybe two years fixed later. That yet. Giving him the perfect game. Yes. There's people watching this show oh right now that will leave in the comments. The human element. Those people are the worst, man. Imagine. Oh, he didn't get the play of the game. <laughs> Don't. There's, there's people that think that. There's cameras and mics. There's people that think they think that. Jim. Should be 100% of the population should be like, yeah, the record book should change that to a perfect game. It doesn't affect anyone. It doesn't affect any. It was the last out. Except like a sad man. But there's, it's, like a, sad it's like a coin flip between baseball fans of if they should do that or not. Armando Galarraga right now. And Jim Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> is this brought to us by anyone? Yeah, Seat Geek. <laughs> Go watch this. Or a perfect game get blown. Seat, Seat Geek. Geek. Jim, this is more sports story I've been trying to tell you about. Uh, my guy, Darnell Wright. Three, two, one, six Seven. point one. This offensive lineman did the wide receiver conditioning test and he crushed it. Yeah. But he's kind of blowing the spot up for every offensive lineman. They sent him the wrong packet. Yeah. Like, hey, work on this stuff before you come to camp. Show up ready. Why don't they just always do that? They're going to now. Yeah. maybe This was the last straw. I think this was an inside job. Maybe they did this on purpose. Only to the rookies. You know, with starting pitchers, starting pitchers used to run all the time. And then CeCe Sabathia joined the Yankees and he was like, I'm good. Bartolo Colon as well. They would try to make him run and he would just be like, nah. like if you're, if He'd you're, sit on the stationary bike, not pedaling. <laughs> if you're a good <laughs> offensive lineman... You don't need to run. What was oh, this not sports? Dude, this not sports. No way this not sports. A worm has been revived after 46,000 years in Siberian permafrost. I've got such bad news for the people doing this. No one cares. You could tell me a worm's 100 years old. You could tell me it's 50,000 years old. You could tell me this worm was just born. I don't care at all. You just got to find a species more leveled up than a worm you're this not, shoestring with a heartbeats from ten thousand. no not I, into this at all no one cares about this can i tell you something that's a lie that that worm is forty six thousand years old how about when the driveway oh, well, if the ice is uh, there so then it's this many years old you don't know how old that fucking worm is i haven't had like a spring morning that smells like worm in a while you know it gets really rainy and all the worms are on the driveway and you're like whoa 
What was that? It's the employee of the week. It's the employee, employee of, of the week. week. Sound off in the comments. We've got a dueling battle. It's Inside Boxing Live versus Talking Giants. Who do you guys want? Sound off in the comments. You guys get to choose. Because uh, Ronnie and Dan did good work, but so did Justin and Bobby. Justin and Bobby have been crushing it. Giants uh, camp doing lives. They had a huge crowd. They've been doing tons of views on their live streams. And then, yeah. Kenobio and Ronnie went to the boxing match. Did you watch it? No, I watched UFC, man. I hate how much I like it. So up to you guys. Bye. Boing, boing. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. If you don't know what SeatGeek is... They're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. They got over 70,000 events every single day, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. And we've got the hookup for you. Use code DUMB for $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DUMB. Click the link in the description to download the app. Most frogs I've ever seen in my life, Connecticut rainstorm. Remember my pool? Second most frogs I've ever seen in my life, Connecticut rainstorm. Your pool got fucked by frogs. Yeah. <laughs> we put a pool in my backyard and then there was just- So many frogs. Like 50 frogs a night dying in the pool. And uh, the guy was like, <laughs> was well, crazy. yeah, you, you messed up the ecosystem here because uh, crazy. we didn't get any, what did he say? You didn't know there was that many frogs. Didn't know there was that many frogs. And he said that- uh, we got so much snow that it kept the r- snakes away, so nothing was eating the frogs. And I was like, dude, what's happening in my backyard? You'd be swimming, and then you'd just be like, there'd be, not a joke, 10 f- dead, bloated, floating <laughs> frogs in the pool with you all of a sudden. It took away from the experience for a little bit. It was wild. Because swimming's nice, but like dead frogs. They'd jump in and then just be like dying next to you, and you're like, oh my God. <laughs>